Welcome to the ITF Transport Outlook session here at the uh, annual summit. The idea with the Freight Share Lab is really to get under the skin of companies before they do their scheduling, right? So for large companies building an interface with their ERP systems and to be able to treat all the fleets that are participating in the platform as if they were one. Without additional policy interventions, globally we will see uh, significant growth in non-urban passenger demand, especially traveling by car, which will lead to doubling the CO2 emissions by 2050. So it's necessary to introduce more stringent policies in this sector. And we also found that out of all the me measures, regulating the fuel efficiency standards and adopting the new vehicle technology are the most efficient CO2 uh, mitigation measures we found in the scenario analysis. And it's also very important to improve the intercity rail and bus services because they can effectively change people's travel behavior and reduce the CO2 intensities of the interurban mobility. In the freight sector, we uh, are thinking into looking at other, uh, other innovation, other radical changes. Um, so for instance, um, sorry, what, what would be the impact of 3D printing or what would be the impact of, can we actually have something like the Internet of Things that some people are talking about? So this is something that we will be uh, looking at in the next edition. There are solutions that are out there that haven't necessarily been well documented. They haven't necessarily been included in the analyses of what's possible by countries to reduce their emissions. This is one of them. Uh, we think there are probably more out there. And we would certainly want to ensure that uh, the policy landscape that businesses work in is one that enables new innovation to come into play um, and new solutions like these. And a last uh, little thing, just in terms of the Innovate UK bid. So we are expecting that um, to come in in June. Um, so if there is anybody from the UK government here listening, then uh, take note. What we see is that actually for, for long distance, there, there is really a benefit to, have, uh, to be the big player and to, to have an offer for, for many situations. So it, it seems pretty hard to, uh, in our view to, to expect a lot of uh, different uh, uh, operators on these sectors, but at the same time, if you look at a shorter distance, you have a lot of creativity, a lot of startups that are trying to explore a, a, a really a variety of concepts to, to, to try to get the same type of success in terms of uh, short distance car pooling. According to our forecast uh, published last year, uh, almost at the traffic, uh, passenger traffic will become uh, almost double by 2030. Even Africa, Africa is, we forecasted, uh, the lowest growth, so-called growth rate, almost 2% for next 20 years. Uh, nevertheless, Africa, that almost 10 airports are already projected to be saturated in 2020. Thank you. I fear we have already come to the end of our time of the sessions. Thank you for coming for all your interventions and um, yeah. Enjoy the rest of the summit. Thank you.